Okay, I think we're back. We're back? Good, we had some power flickers, we dropped some frames. The dogs are up here, both of them. Both of them! Hi! So... Is everyone doing good? Thinking about what we're gonna do now. The journal is mocking me. There's so much stuff that we need to pick up throughout the galaxy, but it seems most of it's not available at present. Before we go to the Far Rim, should we go to the Asari Colony? We've got about half the stream left today, and I was thinking, be nice to recruit Tali. We could do Leviathan. Then there's this. Investigate the Asari Colony. Why wait? Go. Confirmed. Yeah, it's a proper thunderstorm. Sea star. Hopefully we maintain power. Um, I guess we'll keep an eye on it. It's supposed to be stormy here for a few days. It was gorgeous this morning. And now, <clears throat> now it looks like the forecast was, uh, was right after all. <clears throat> Trategos. Largely frozen ice except for liquid seas at the equator. Tratagos has the coldest winters of any Asari colony, taking it down near the second tier of habitability. Tratagos' colonists are a hardy bunch, using the freezing winter months to test whether newcomers have what it takes to carve out a life on the planet. Tratagos' colonists are fighting the Reapers in a guerrilla war best resource being submarine vehicles that can slip under the sea ice to mask their heat. Fortunately, these have not proven good tools for taking back population centers from the Reapers, and for now, the colonists will have to be satisfied with commando actions to harass their synthetic oppressors. An upgrade for Shepard, an attacked Reaper weapon. Like two fuel sources here, but there's something else. Oh, and three fuel sources. We'll be back. Evasion successful. I don't know if you can hear this, but the rain and the little bit of hail mixed in with it is just pelting the house right now. I went out to my mailbox, which is a block down the street, and went walking out in bare feet, and it was dry. By the time I got back, I was soaking wet. It started pouring. And as soon as I started walking down the street, it started pouring. I found something. Arcosa was thought to be a naturally occurring hothouse planet until an Asari expedition discovered palatial ruins on its barren surface. Likely the seat of an ancient city, the crumbling edifice dates back more than 2.7 million years. The only intact chamber appears to be a throne room overlooking a large depression believed to have once been an enormous lake. There is evidence that the people of Carcosa polluted their planet until it became uninhabitable, triggering a runaway greenhouse effect and spoiling the planet's fresh water supply. Research into the planet's long history will have to wait. Asari scientists evacuated when word of the Reaper attack reached the system, leaving behind data drones to explain their findings to anyone who survives. of Asha. <laughs> Let's go through Pelion, grab some fuel, go to Kalini before we go to Masana to the colony. You know the Reapers are here. There's all this fuel just waiting for us. Like that. So grab it and go. Grab and go! Reapers eluded. Confirmed. Uh. Faster than light jump successful. 
evasion successful. Tense, this is a loud storm. Reapers Hi, Lonnie. I know. L Lonnie does not like storms. Here's Lonnie. Not like this weather. Not okay. Hey, Kithri. What's happening? Places. An unpopular garden world with characteristics just outside of the comfort zone of its Asari population. Gravity is a little too high, its disease is a little too virulent, and the soil inhospitable for growing food. Further information is difficult to come by, and the Asari government is uncharacteristically silent about lessons. Normally, a garden world settled so long ago would be highly populated, but little light pollution can be seen on Lessus's nightside. Not much, Kithri. Not much doing. Well, that's alright. storms. <clears throat> Did we brought Garrus and Liara out before? Discord is off? What do you mean? Is Discord down? I don't host Discord. It's all it's all run from their end. I know they just launched video uh, video chat and screen sharing. Are they having some server issues? What's up, BD Gray? Sea Star, are you off? Getting pretty sleepy here, so time for bed. Enjoy the rest of almost day and catch you tomorrow. We'll see you Friday. We'll see you tomorrow, Sea Star. Good night. Claire, you're on Discord and it's still up? Yeah, uh, BD Gray, I don't know what's up. Squadmate power damage duration and force, or squadmate shield recharge speed. Yeah. Do it, do it. You must have been banned. You have not been banned. I don't, I don't know what's up, BD Gray. Um, I don't know. I'll check it out after the stream. Thank you for the for the feedback there. Stream looking really sharp. It should. I've been tweaking it. Camera should look pretty good. Stream should look pretty good. Cheers, man. up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed Highly to the doubt you've been Yakshi banned, Monastery. Since I don't think anyone's ever been banned. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. One person kicked These recently and invited themselves back. To avoid that. But it doesn't mean they they're harmless. Long enough their to urge say... to feed can be powerful. Blah, 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 blah. And then they left again. commandos to investigate the monastery's so. distress signal. 
What were the Commandos' orders? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the Commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous. Hey there, Luke. But are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was hey, just no, taking stride. What's up? Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place point, is destroyed. Hello. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Let's try not to blow the whole place up. What do you say? <sighs> Don't assume anything. Maybe the Yardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. No idea if Javik has anything to say down here. I think Liara has a few bits. My dogs are freaking out. Storm is well. Jazz is chill. Lonnie's freaking out. What do you say, Lonnie? Why don't you lay down? Look at Jazz. Look at Jazz. She's just chilling. Got no problem with this. She's got no problem with this. The shuttle is warm. Recently used. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Liara, where are you? Liara, where are you? Shit, we lost it. There you are. What the heck? That sound. Yeah, you don't want to know. There's more than one out there. Stay sharp. A reminder, students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters or to meet in rooms unsupervised by staff. Students are also forbidden from extranet communication without approval by senior staff members. There are no exceptions to these rules. First offenders will have their free time revoked for a month. Further violations will be met with confinement. Our monastery is our shelter. For it to remain that way, we must make sacrifices. If we do this, I have faith we can continue to enjoy the order and peace this place has given us. Matriarch Galay. Wonder why students aren't allowed to be together, alone together. Well, I bet you can figure it out. What happens if an Ardat Yakshi mates with an Ardat Yakshi? Do they both die? That was Does one of them die? Me. What happens then? Rango easily scared in video games? Jump scares get me pretty good. Beady Gray, not, uh, not too happy about Shadow of Mordor. Do you mean the new one, Shadow of War, and its microtransactions? Or are you talking about the, uh, the first one? <laughs> you get a Yahtzee. Must be it. Galay's electronic signature. That'll be an upgrade for Shep. Talay, you won't believe what Yanis managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us in the library. Vanya. Real is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is going to be so great. See you there. Oh. 
And delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. Yeah, last time you left it sitting on the dining table for everyone to see. Don't do that. To our staff and students. Attached is our new daily schedule. Please note that wake up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Floor wardens can download chore lists later this week. Please see Matriarch Galay or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Superintendent Jethra. Wake up 5.30, breakfast 5.45, morning meditation 6.15, study period 8 o'clock, chores at 10, midday meal at noon, classes at 12.45, study period at 5, supper at 6, evening meditation at 7, free period, you get two whole hours from 8 till 10, curfew at 10. Lights out. Sorry, commandos felt silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You were here because the monastery makes the best cookies in the galaxy. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility, and it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Maccabee, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. The, uh... Is there ever any explanation given for when Samara talks about the number of Arda Yakshi in existence the children she has it seems clear in Mass Effect 2 that the only Arda Yakshi at, at this time are her kids. And yet here's a monastery. The Arda Yakshi have been turned. Where did, where did all the rest come from all of a sudden? Or how is that reconciled? My name is Tashia Pori. 
Isolated fortress. The other Yokshi must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about it at all. They learned. That's plausible, Ford. She might have just been asking the greater uh, reality of it. But she was very explicit at the time. There are X in existence and... She straight up lied, or they retconned the small numbers of Ardat Yakshi in favor of the monastery and a larger population. I think this makes sense. More sense. It's a neat twist that Samara's offspring would represent the total Ardat Yakshi population, but that never really clicked. This makes more sense. They appear in very few numbers amongst the Asari population, and if identified, they're sent off here to be isolated. Of course. It is done. Yes, Rax, you got it. It's the first one. Speaking of... Oh, hi, Banshee! Exactly how are they funny? Explain this funny! They just spawned all around me, too. Wasn't thinking about the respawn. I'm dead. I can't get this on the cover here. Shepard! Ready, roll! I thought, having reached the end of the, of the physical space, that they wouldn't spawn on top of us there. Yeah, that was nice. That used to be a person, an 
Sorry. What have the Reapers done? Yeah, Rex, there's uh, there's some pretty dark outcomes from decisions you may have made in the previous game. Absolutely. Back here. No, there's something on a bench, and I, I passed by it before. Is there a PDA laying around somewhere? I didn't grab it during the fight, did I? There was something on one of these benches. I saw it right when the banshee showed up, and I kind of remembered it being here, but I either grabbed it. Oh. Oh well. Kikyo, thank you for the follow and welcome. Maybe it was a credits pickup. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Father, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? But didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Yeah, well, we're Falaire. not the Commandos. I'm sorry. Falaire! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. I want to do that. Can I do that, please? We'll be too bad. Please be swift. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Jethra, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll call Go oh, in peace.
Ooh, team. Dark Channel just eats them alive. Hey, there's the Disciple. That's a nice shotgun. We'll hold on to that. Ethra, I had the new girl put in a holding chamber. Justicar who brought her to us, Justicar for us, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guards. It's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. The Justicar's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some other Justicars on the level of coercion Fora's permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here, terrified out of their wits, but it will certainly be the last. Jethro, I looked over this year's candidates for supervi supervised visits to Thessia, but proving everyone but Yanni's. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Find me a worse combination to let outside our walls. I find it suspicious that she was even nominated. Let's look into that. Pray it's not Yanis manipulating another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let her best students visit their own homeworld. Unless Yanis matures, she won't be among them. If you wish. All right. Oh, the banshee went up there. Great. Now my, all right, my squad's going to be dead by the time I get up there. neat that the banshee came up here until now there is a cannibal out there somewhere somebody just flanked somebody got me who is peppering me though I don't actually see them let's let's move over here Someone's got a beat on Shepard's head. I don't see where they are. Save, let's save those med kits. I think we'll be all right.
that's still alive. Oh man, we got a whole nother spawn. Somebody's still alive! Did you die? You die now! Get it. The army's back. Hey, Javik. Just looking for ammo before we proceed. I don't know that there was any laying around, but... Rather not go into the next room short. Nothing. Nothing. All good for it. I'll have to try it out sometime. I'm sure I've used it before. Can't remember how it how the disciple fires, but Somebody set us up the bomb. Hey there, Miss B. Have happy almost day. Did you come for the banshees? Cuz I hope you like banshees. We've found our bomb. And Falaire. Rila, wake up. Falaire. Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Incoming! Later. Yes, later. Okay, thought one banshee was fun. How about two? 
They're two or three. Maybe just two. Yeah. They mean business. that they're here. I mean, they're actually here. See how much damage we can pump into these in like 10 seconds. Do it! Everything! All the damage! All the damage now! Roosty Toosty! Oh, who just got wrecked? Oh! Let's get back to that bomb. Yeah! <laughs> I don't think I've ever cleared that room that fast. They didn't stand a chance! Yeah! Oh, man! We wrecked them! Hot damn. for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Oh, I've run around that. I have to do so much in that room usually. Damn. Move. No. Rila. I love you. Rila. Yo, Banshee! Embrace eternity. break the reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Falair. The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! Oh, hell no. My daughters, you were all so much stronger than I believed. No, no, no! 
No, 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 no. Let go. Tamara, what are you doing? Sometimes your code, code really sucks. By throwing your life away, I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Valer rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. The sorry commando unit? Yes, please. Oh, might rather have a pony, but... <clears throat> I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted to kick ass, just like everyone else. But I need a better reason than it has scales to go kill somebody. And if Cerberus is taking our dishonorable discharges and Cat-6 washouts, it's just one more reason they're not worth a damn. I'm glad someone's got their head screwed on Commander, straight. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Bryn Cole, dear Commander Shepard. Thank you again for all you did to get our group out of that facility at Gellix. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. Construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck. In this instance, I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. I'm Jacob Taylor. Hey, Shepard. This Crucible project is intense. Bryn and the others are on it around the clock. Pretty soon, I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. Got time? Want to meet me there? Things were so crazy on Gellix, it'd be good to see you in a quieter place, you know? Hope to see you around. Jacob. We already met him at Huerta, where he told us he was going to be a daddy. But we knew that. Samara. I've finished my business on Lessus. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join the fight where it is most dire. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. Before I depart, I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there. Samara. And from Green Lemaze. Commander Shepard, as of an hour ago, a sorry high command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride with the second fleet until it's time to deploy. If you'll allow me a personal note, I knew a few of the commandos who went down at that monastery. Nothing will bring them back. But hearing that the place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Ready to serve, Captain Corrine Lemays. Take another trip back to the Citadel. We have... Still a little fuzzy on why all these things are showing up in our journal, but we don't even have the opportunity to go to the relevant systems to pick them up yet. 
used in a few cases, but we did pick up a few things. What did we get? Mist talking to Tactus in the medical, uh, in the refugee camp about medical supplies. We have Weshra's down on the Presidium. Athena Nebula. Open. For code frag uh, fragments, we should check the Spectre Terminal in case we did actually miss anything out on the field. Kuna. Message coming in. Patching it through. Spartan lady. Spartan lady, thank you for the host. Welcome, welcome. Like that, Shepard's nearly maxed out on Paragon. Although the way the bar works in Mass Effect 3, the Renegade, the little bit of Renegade we have at the bottom, it's not going anywhere. scope out the galaxy map again what i'm thinking is let's take another trip back to the citadel clean up some stuff we'll take um we'll take our last break and then how do you feel about leviathan why don't we run leviathan today we've got time for it system was weird. It had three different fuel sources. One we grabbed midway through the system, but it was 750, 750, and 650. For all the wimpy little bits of fuel you pick up, the system was loaded. Stopped pouring here, too. It may be raining, I can't tell. It's no longer smacking the house so loud that I can hear it. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Mars at the embassy level. Jacob's still at Huerta, but we already spoke with him. Cortez. We didn't find Cortez down at Purgatory. Where was he? Find Cortez down at Purgatory this time. And Miranda's in the apartments. We've got to go talk to Miranda. Missed that once, and we paid for it. Actually, Miranda paid for it, but my fault. Actus. Let's make this pass through. You're sure of what you saw? Leviathan yes, after the break. Heard from your brother since then? No, Sergeant. <sighs> All right, Talavi. I'll see if I can get you fighting Reapers instead of Cerberus. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You won't thank me so much when you're eye deep in husks. Status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E. James is probably still playing Emergency poker. Zaid, we spoke to Kelly. We've um, already told her to get a new ID, and she did and saved her life. But Tactus is in the middle section. So glad we got Conrad Werner all the way through this time. That was excellent. That was excellent. Actus be here somewhere. There's Kelly. Ah, there he is. 
I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chakwis spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. <clears throat> your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now's not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Yes. Right. Yeah, Ford, it was priceless. Hey. Oh. Hey, it's you. Still waiting. Any news? No, but they promised, right? They'll get here soon. I'm sure they will. I'll drop by later to check in. If that's okay. Okay. Awkward. Cortez, purgatory. No Gavin Hossel? Is a small galaxy. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Anyhow, enough about my armor. Let's find the gang and celebrate while I'm still here. Where'd you park? I took rapid transit. Come on, you have the fanciest ride on the Citadel. And I saw that new paint job. I, uh, I sold it a couple of weeks ago. What? But you love that car. I know. You never shut up about that car. I know. Yeah, girl waiting for her parents, but they promised. Yeah, well, wartime promises. Tess is up here, right? What the hell's your problem? I'm not skinny, the alliance. Since when are you so chummy with those pricks? Screw you. I see him. You've been watching the news? Sure. You know what's happening to Earth while we're sitting here? Calm down already. Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. Good guy, guy Cortez. Happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's life. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. Guy Cortez. I'll see you back on the Normandy. Gaming nerds, thank you for the follow and welcome aboard. Miranda, we gotta check in with Miranda at the apartments. Can't forget. Forget. I swear he just called Shepard Deborah. Did he now? Didn't catch that. Hit me. Oh, I love the dancing bartender. You know, she never serves drinks, she just dances. She's just breaking it down all day and all night. 
I could dance all day. I could dance all day. What's up? <laughs> Sorry, I was not phased. Not even phased. How's good? How you been? I recovered some texts from a library in Reaper controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at Bay D24 if that would help. Really? Well, damn, it couldn't hurt. Thank you. Maybe those texts will help you. Sorry, remember how to fight again. <clears throat> wow, look at that. It's the first time in the whole game assless chaps has moved from one side of the room to the other. She's still here. She's still got her arms crossed and her ass is still hanging out. But she's in a different place. Progress. Spectre status recognized. Please select a One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Simone Cat. Simone Cat. Thank you for the follow and welcome, welcome, welcome. If anybody new here following is uh, is watching, pop up in chat. Consider popping up in chat. Say hi. It'd be great to know. It's hard to tell with Twitch is onboarding, new user onboarding lately. Who's around and who's not? Uh, I'm going to drop a hard save. What are we. This force us into the. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't, but what is it? I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. Okay, fine. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know, and thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. Confess. It's been eating away at me. Confess. Confess. It's so silly. She's already told us this. When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. One of the first things she ever told us. I think you mentioned this. Yeah. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. She said that too. I've never understood this scene. She's confessing something she already told us and qualifying it by telling us something she's already told us. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I'm not a number. A I'm a free man. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. We, we know this already. Miranda, Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, 
but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Yeah. Guess we didn't miss those conversations with Miranda this time around. I gotta admit, Ford, uh, yeah, that crossed my mind. <laughs> they got in so close. We've already had a chit chat with Liara here, but. I'm thinking Leviathan after the break. Or would you rather go to the far rim and catch up with Tali? We have priority Perseus Vale, right? We have priority Perseus Vale, or I'm thinking Leviathan. Hello, Shepard. Have you done Omega? I'm thinking tomorrow. Uh, we'll have plenty Welcome of time to tomorrow. Goods. Omega Good would be a little squashed if we tried to do it with the time we have left today. But I think Leviathan would be a good fit. Maybe tomorrow Omega. My name is Tasha Pore. Of course. P-O-R-A-E. No, I realize you can't tell me where she was deployed. Can you inform me if she's under orders not to communicate with her family? Weshra. I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Hmm. Where does Ash end up sitting over here? Doesn't Ash end up over here at some point. Not now, yes. Spectre Terminal. Let's go check the Spectre Terminal. Let's see if the Turian at... just passed Udina's old office. Spectre see if we have what he's looking for. One moment, please. We are going to take our last break in a few, and it's going to be a kind of short break. It'll only be about six minutes. Last one was extra long, so we'll make this one a little short. Your paperwork has been processed. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. I like some of these Asari very much. Good people. Good people. Private Talavi has requested a transfer to a unit actively engaged against Reaper hostiles. A note from Sergeant Alembe says that Private Talavi is an exceptional engineer, recommending her for duty on a team set to sabotage Reaper processing centers. Spectre authorization would fast track this request. We're still missing Reaper code fragments for the Asari over here. 
by the bench we can clip over. So we haven't been to Dakuna, rescue Elcor that may have survived, and we don't have the code fragments. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only find I didn't kill the one bravery. on Tachanka. We'll just pretend we did, okay? It was all me. All right, Wasn't Kalros. It was Shepard. All we Shepard. for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. Did you have one? I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Gruesome Academy also fell to the Reapers when Elysium was attacked. But Alliance forces were able to evacuate all students. We're good. Checked in with everyone. It's our best way to uh, pop over to Bryson's office. We can do that from the terminal at the Presidium faster than going back to the Normandy. So let's take a break now and then Leviathan. First, we have to go to Bryson's office. We have to do a little investigative work. We'll be on our way. That may actually run us over, which is fine. Uh, schedule says we've got 90 minutes left. About right for Leviathan. Might take us a little less, might take us a little more. Do it. I'll see you back here in a few. Two songs, I guess it's about seven minutes. I'll see you back here in seven. Yeah? Right. Stay tuned. <laughs>